I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken, you were good on your own. Oh, and I know, I know, I was drunk enough. Didn't know, didn't know it would mess me up. Yeah. Now I'm truly awakened. Oh, so you wanna talk again? But it's time I do this my way. Hello, hello everybody. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. Completely barefaced. I was just about to say sorry, but I'm not sorry. I will say though, any of you that like take pictures or are a content creator or whatever, you look in the mirror and you're like, hmm, I'm looking good without my makeup. And then you turn on the camera and you're like, Ugh. <laughs> it like shows so many things that you don't see in the mirror, but whatever, what are we gonna do? Here we are, this is real, this is this is me. Happy random Wednesday. For some reason recently, Wednesdays have gotten so busy for me. I like accumulate so many things midweek. So today's gonna be a very jam-packed vlog. Get excited, get ready. I am so excited for it. I saved a few things purposely for this vlog to hang out with you guys and show you some new things and whatnot. This apartment is a disaster, so we need to get a hold on that. I'm not even gonna show you guys our sink. It was my turn to do dishes yesterday and I let it pile up. So I've got lots of dishes to do today, but we're putting that on the back burner for now. Anyways, I'm not going to give you the whole agenda for the day. We'll go through it one by one, but I already went to cycling this morning. It felt so good. I love Wednesdays and Sundays because that is my day that I wash my hair. I only wash my hair twice a week because it's just what works for me. And so today I got that fresh reset. It felt so good. I just Dyson air wrapped it and I actually really like the way that it came out today. I was trying this new thing with my bangs like curling them up this way but I actually like just doing them regular better. It's fine what works for other people might not work for everyone. I also got up my vlog and a TikTok so it's been a good morning. We are fresh faced with my mirror right in front of me because we're going to try some new makeup. I'll try to go through it at a relatively quick speed in case you don't care. If you don't I guess just skip ahead a little but I got some new products from Ulta and I wanted to try them out with you guys. So if it comes out like crap, at least my hair looks decent today, right? And Zane is out playing tennis. So it's just me and you hanging out. It's like the perfect day to vlog because Zane is a music producer. So when we're both home and I have to film and he has to produce, it kind of clashes. So Wednesday is great for me to hang out with you guys. Also just realized I need my makeup rag. I cannot do my makeup without a makeup rag. So hold on. Does anybody else have a million of these <laughs> stained rags? Because I have so many and then once they get like nasty, I just put them in the washing machine with my towels. Is this a good light? It's kind of yellow, right? That's white. Okay, that's better. By the way, I'm sitting on the floor by the couch in the living room because I just figured it'd be like nice and comfy cozy. And if you watched my last video, I think it was, maybe two videos ago, I was feeling kind of like funky about myself, like in a winter funk. And I got on Better Tanner and oh, she is awakened. Like if you self-tan, you know, there's nothing like a good tan. Okay, I'm usually a headband girl, but I think we're gonna do clips today. I see everyone doing the clips and they look so cute. Headband is not the most flattering. <laughs> first things first, I'm gonna do my brows a little bit. Okay, a little better. Putting on some moisturizer. I did moisturize when I got out of the shower earlier, but my skin is a sponge. So we, we need some more. I have her TikTok right in front of me, so I'm doing it just like she does. By the way, I'm following Bryn Marie on TikTok, her viral TikTok, if you were curious. The next thing that she does is pat rosehip carrier oil all over her face. I'm not a fan of the smell of this and hopefully I bought the right thing. I'm a little nervous. I'm going to start with just a little bit. It doesn't smell very good. But if it makes my makeup look good, <laughs> I will use it. That is very hydrating, which I need. I mean, I'm definitely glowing. This is why we want the towel. Now my hands are all oily and greasy. The smell is actually bearable. It's not horrible. Next, we are trying the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I would like to use it. Oh my god, that was like impossible to get out. My back kind of hurts already. All I can smell is the rosehip oil. Look how pretty. We're just gonna dig into that. That was kind of satisfying. Mm. I don't know how much I'm gonna need, so I'm gonna start with just a little bit. Oh, I like the way that it feels. I thought it was gonna be much thicker, but it's not. It's actually pretty thin, and I like it. Okay. We love affordable products. I feel so hydrated right now. The next thing that she does is put a cream highlighter all over her face and I could not find the one that she uses. So I have these glow drops by Verse. I'm gonna try to pat these onto the skin. I've used them, but you're kind of supposed to put them on dry skin and I am so moisturized right now. So let's see if it'll 
you know, stay. I think that's working. It's giving the same effect that hers looks like. She definitely looks a little nuts because she has highlighter all over her face, so that's what I'm going for. The Tin Man. This is gonna be a long vlog, guys. Buckle up. I'm not rubbing it in because I tried to do that last time I used it and it just like, it just like rubbed into my face or like rubbed wherever I was rubbing. It was like moving, it wasn't staying, so that's why I'm patting it in. And I will say, if this does work, it's a lot more excessive and like in-depth than what I usually do, but I'm willing to do it on days where like I'm filming or you know, just want my makeup to look better than usual. I'm willing to put in a little more effort. And I think the more that I do it, the more I'll get like used to it, you know? I'll do it quicker. We're looking nuts, but it looks similar to her. So I'll take that. Next step. See, I usually do my eyes after my whole base is done, but we will follow her routine. I just don't know how to go from here now because now I'm gonna wipe it off from my brows. I assume also I want to let some time pass so that I can let my face set. So I'm going to fill in my brows. She 100% does her eyebrows way fancier than I ever would. They're like all like shaped with like concealer and stuff. I definitely want to keep this a little bit similar to my regular routine because I'm not realistically going to do something like that all the time. Nor do I know what she did because she skipped over it. So sticking with my little eyebrow pencil for now. Never say never. I feel so weird about doing my eyeshadow first. I'm gonna take my powder brush that has nothing on it. I'm just using whatever's left and just dabbing it on my eyelids so that they're not so like greasy. Yeah, that helped a little. Okay, now we're gonna do my eyes. I'm using Nude Medium Palette by Huda Beauty. Okay, she does like crazy lashes and crazy liner, which I just don't wear. I wanna keep it a little more simple. I'm just trying her base. So I did my eyeshadow. It's obviously a hot mess, but I'm gonna go in with this color corrector. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Peach Corrector. Cute, it's got a little brush applicator. Squeeze some, that's fine. She goes just like right under the eyes like that. She's color correcting, which I am wanting because I definitely have dark spots under my eyes. And she said she does it with her finger. I don't know what shade she had though, I will say that. So I kind of just guessed. <laughs> I have always done, oh wow, that looks good. Huh. I have always done my eyeshadow after my base because I don't know how to like make my eyeshadow look good while getting my foundation around it. I feel like I'm gonna mess up my eyeshadow, but we're gonna try. This looks great. Maybe I'm just blind, but I feel like this looks so smooth. I do think I used it a little too much, but that's okay. I'm also taking my finger and fixing my messy eyeshadow. I just like bring it up. Okay, that works. Definitely too much, but that's okay. This is our first attempt. Okay, it's all over my nose now. That was supposed to be under my eyes. I'm using a little flat brush just to carve the edge of my eyeshadow. Okay, what's next? For foundation, I use Dermablend Flawless Creator Foundation Drops mixed with the NYX Total Control Foundation Drops. Okay, got it. We're gonna mix both of these foundations. Dermablend Flawless Creator in 43N. I don't know if these shades are right. I bought them online, but I did just tan. So we should be able to get a good mix. They're different shades, obviously. So I think the mix of the two, we should be good. She blends it in with the Beauty Blender, which is what I use every day anyway. I also already mix two foundation shades on a daily basis. So I'm used to mixing. Oh, that's super light. Okay, I think these are gonna mix well. I don't know if she puts it directly on the Beauty Blender or on her face, but I am doing my face. I usually put my light foundation on like all the highlighty areas of my face. And then I'll take the dark one, which by the way, this one is $40 and this one is like maybe 10 or less. So we've got a drugstore and she mixes a high end. I have not changed my foundation. I can't even tell you how long. I have used the Wet n Wild Photo Focus for years, but maybe it is time to step up my game. I don't know how much this blends out. So we're gonna leave it there and start blending. Taking it a little bit down my neck. So far, I feel like the color match is gonna end up okay once we powder and everything like that. See, I so badly wanna tap on top of my eyelid. That's what I usually do, but I'm not gonna. Oh wow, that is full coverage. See, what do I do here? I think I was supposed to conceal my eyelids and then put on my eyeshadow. Wow, that's a lot. That was very full coverage. Okay, I think I used too much. <laughs> Bailey's playing with a toy, by the way, so. Sorry for that noise. I'm gonna use this little brush to blend the foundation above my eyeshadow because she's looking a hot mess. Hello foundation lips. 
I do feel like it's separating a little bit, but we're going to continue. I've already blended it. Oh, see? On my nose, it's not sticking. Okay. Next is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer in Light Sand. This is the shade that she uses, and she looks a similar skin tone to me. Okay, she puts it all on at once. So, so this is the one that she uses. This is a satin finish. I use this one for contour, and this is the matte finish. But she uses something else for her contour, but I have this, and it's similar. So, I am just putting this where she put hers. Hmm, right here and right here she has it. Okay, and she also put it on her cupid's bow she puts it here too which i already do i couldn't get the blush that she uses because it was sold out in the shade so we got a different brand that is kind of similar i have never cream blushed before i've never cream blushed before so i'm excited for it i'm gonna put it on with my finger she goes right here oh it's kind of purple okay this is humbling me i thought i knew how to do my makeup and now i'm like oh this is gonna turn out like a child did it hers is called coralicious and it's a lot more pink then purple. Um, I'm scared. Ready? Here we go. Okay. She said she does the darker blends first. Blush in the middle of the forehead. I'm not sure why, but it's okay. We have to trust the process. I feel like I'm getting somewhere. I usually do my cream contour with a brush and she does it with this beauty blender, so that's why I'm using the beauty blender instead, but I'm actually liking it better than the brush, I think. Wow, this is a lot of makeup. <laughs> I think I just used too much foundation or it's just a very high coverage foundation combo. Next, we're setting the whole face with some setting powder. She uses a different one, but it's just setting powder. Then she goes in contours. I'm using a different one than her, Physician's Formula Bronzer. Then she powder blushes. I'm using a different one than her. She uses something from NYX, but I like this one. She also puts it here again. Very interesting. I like a little bit of blush on my nose. I think it looks cute. Next, she uses a hydrating face mist that I could not find. I think this girl sold out some stuff, honestly. But I'm just going to use my Morphe setting spray. She does it until her face is, like, wet and then lets it almost dry. So we're going to go in on this. My face is wet. Okay, my face is almost dry. We're taking powder on our beauty blender, tapping the excess off on our hand, and packing it on any places that are like super texturized. I feel like this is starting to look cakey. Now we're gonna highlight. God bless makeup artists that can figure out what works for all different people's faces because I can't even figure out my own. I'm gonna do my lashes and my lips and I'll be back to you guys and show you the final result. All right guys, we just wrapped up. Besides my um, missing eyeshadow i still need to nail the doing the eyeshadow before my <laughs> foundation need to figure that out i definitely should have put concealer or foundation on my eyelids probably we're gonna go look in the bathroom that's where i usually do my makeup so let's see like when the truth the lighting in here i mean it looks pretty good but does it look very different i'm trying to whiten this does it look very different from what i usually do though i do think it looks similar however i do see that my skin overall just looks like higher quality it looks like very smooth i even just took pictures on my phone with flash and i usually look a little scary with flash on that close to my face but it actually looks decent again minus my eyeshadow and minus this dirty mirror oh my god i mean let's go look in natural light it's kind of dull outside but this is natural lighting all up close and personal that's what it looks like this is where I film a lot of my clips when I cook and stuff. So I got my little mini ring light on. It looks very pretty, but I don't know if it's that drastic of a difference. You guys tell me. Okay, we're going to move on from the makeup. It came out decent enough that I feel like I don't look crazy. I look normal, so I'm happy with that. Oh, I need to put on my jewelry. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Oh, my necklace. Okay, we're better. Jewelry is on. I wanted to show you a few pieces that I just got in from Lovely and Blush Boutique. I will have the links for the items down below. This isn't sponsored, but I will make a small commission when you guys use my links and my discount code. So first thing that I got is this cute um, long cardigan. I love this because it reminds me of my jackets that I love now, the super long ones. It's like a jacket, but for inside. 
<laughs> I just love how long it is. It's so comfy. It's almost like a more like socially acceptable robe. I just love it. It's so soft. It's cozy. Perfect little beige color. It's got pockets. Very cute. This I can't wear right now because it is absolutely freezing, but this is going to be nice for when it warms up a little bit. It's like a velvety set. It is so soft. Got the little crop top. It's like an olive green color and the cute little shorts to match. Cute little lounge set for around the apartment and I feel like it'll look good with my dark hair. Last two pieces. This is like a shacket. I'm really excited for this. I can try this on for you guys real quick. Oh, it's cold. By the way, the top that I'm wearing is from Amazon and then I'm wearing Lulu Align joggers. How cute is this? It is, I can't even explain to you guys how like buttery it is. It feels like so luxurious. Cute little layering piece, shacket. Does it have pockets? It does not. Oh my God, this is so soft. Okay, love that. This is actually so nice to like dress up. Oh, I love this. And then lastly, this cute little like fanny pack. I love the color of this. I just realized it says it's a good day to have a good day on it. That is my freaking quote right there. I just got this stuff in, so I haven't even opened it yet. But this is so cute for like a little amusement park day or something. So cute. Little top pocket and a little front pocket. That is adorable. Oh, I look like I have like my life together. Okay, love that. Love the color. I can't wait to wear this jacket. <gasps> wow, I love it. Thank you to Lovely and Blush for sending me these adorable pieces and everything will be linked down below. We love. The next thing on my to-do list is to try on the items that I recently showed in a vlog that I bought because I need to see if I want to return anything or not. So I've got those right here. Please don't look at the catastrophe that our bedroom is in. I tanned last night, so my sheets are all over, so I have to clean that up. First, we've got the two bodysuits from Express. I have it in black, and I have it in a chocolate brown. I'm going to try on both because so many times I've bought things from a company where one color fits differently than the other color. That's annoying, so we're going to make sure they both fit. So far, the black one is giving exactly what I needed to give, and I am clasping it right now. And this is a big deal breaker for me if it's easy to clasp. You know what? It's missing one of the things, though. Is it supposed to have two? It has, like two buttons on one side and then like only one on the other side let me check the other one interesting i think mine is messed up <gasps> the black one that i'm wearing right now has two of these and only one of these for it to go into very strange but she fits really great i have no bra on and it's a thong in the back let me pull up my pants <laughs> this is exactly what i wanted <gasps> it is perfect do I care about the second class? Maybe I'll just wait to wear it. I'll go into Express this week because I want this in white anyway now that I know I like it and see if they have that. And then if they have my size, I'll exchange it. If not, then I'll probably keep it because I want it. <laughs> and like one clasp, it's not that big of a deal. I don't think it's going to come undone. But I'll save it until I go into the store. Oh, we love her. This is oh, so perfect. Okay, needed this. Let's try on the chocolate. Here it is, by the way. You can see the indent that it's supposed to be there, but it like didn't make it on the clasp so there's two on this side and only one i will say i do think that a bra would look nice you know but like not necessary hold on actually well i will say i'm already warm in this so it's definitely good for layering in the winter i forgot i wanted to try on this sweater that i got from amazon so let's put it over this black top i can't tell if i'm loving this makeup by the way or i just have a good tan on you know and i just did my hair good like, am I just having a good hair and tan day and the makeup looks good? Finding out the recipe for things is hard. Um, <laughs> it's definitely doing what it's supposed to do. I just don't know. Oh, oh, I don't think we should have the neckline showing, right? It's giving what it's supposed to give, but I don't know if the give is for me. Like, do I look good in this? You guys be honest with me. Sorry, guys. It is so, like, dull outside. It's hard for me to find lighting right now. If I put this on with jeans, like, would it be cute? <laughs> I mean, like, wow, guys. This is the chocolate one. This would be so cute with like a big baggy pair of sweatpants because it's so fitted. I just got my nails done yesterday and it matches my nails so perfectly. A little chocolate brown. Oh, I've been loving chocolate brown ever since I went dark with my hair. It's like my favorite color to wear. Um, oh my God, yeah, like this. <gasps> For our cabin trip coming up, these are gonna be perfect. I'm definitely gonna bring both of these. I'll probably go over to Express tomorrow just to, um, see if i can get the other one and maybe white because these are going to be wardrobe staples i love 
love the quality of them shout out to my friend fran for suggesting these to me because they also have them in tank tops and stuff i believe like bodysuits like this material so i'm gonna need all of them thanks <laughs> and i am wearing a small i feel like i could go with an extra small to get away like a little bit of extra fabric but i don't know I, i'd rather be comfortable in it i feel like i can move in this i feel like the um you know thing between my legs like the snap feels really comfortable so i'm gonna stick with the size small i feel like it fits me pretty well this is so good for layering and i love this color ah, i'm excited i just got some tiktok stuff done i posted twice today i've been very active on tiktok so if you don't follow me over there go check it out also don't look at my dirty dishes i'm about to do them okay <laughs> The next thing on my list, I'm just getting away, like done like the easiest things on my list. Okay, so my mom brought these over on Christmas and they have since become an addiction. It's a healthy addiction though. Like I, I don't eat the whole package in one sitting, but they are my favorite little snack. I just have a few, you know? Oh, uh, they are from freaking Dollar Tree. They're called butter rings and they're the most simplest cookie. It's just like a simple like vanilla wafery cookie, but they're so delicious. And they're good for my calorie counting because five of them are 120. So if I just want to have like three as like a little snack, I just love them so much. So mom started an addiction. So I went yesterday after the gym and I got some more. I already went through the ones from Christmas and I have extra of these containers that I had bought and I I didn't want to like fill them up just to fill them because you gotta put stickers on it you know to label it so I wanted to make sure what I was filling it with is something that you know I like but I'm pretty sure this is so loud I'm pretty sure there's like a cookie just like a plain like cookie label so I'll probably put that on here and then if I want to switch it out for a different cookie I can but I just feel like it'd be nice for me to have like a little container of them instead of this like plastic container. I'm gonna have one right now. They say yes, no, maybe on them. I don't know why, but this one says yes, so I feel like that's a good thing. Mmm, they're so good. This has been my guilty pleasure. I'm not a huge chocolate person, so these are like everything to me. Like I would grab these over an Oreo. I know that's like a hot take and probably an unpopular opinion, but I would. Like, I love vanilla Oreos, almost better than regular Oreos. One more, because I want to make dinner after I wash the dishes. And they're only a dollar, or a dollar twenty-five now, I guess. I'm trying to film a TikTok at the same time as you guys, so bear with me. Oh my god, I hope they fit nicely. Okay, but how can they fit next to each other? Oh, we can do two rows? Can we do three rows? Oh my god, oh my god, messing up, messing up. Oh my god, we can do three. I need to go buy another pack right now at Dollar Store so we can fill up this container. I mean, come on. Is this creating a bad habit or a good habit? My heart is so happy right now. Doesn't that look cute? I gotta get a label for it. Oh, there's definitely crumbs under it. So cute, I love it. Check it out, hallelujah, the dishes are done. Honestly, once I get into a flow of it, it's like not bad, I'll put on like YouTube videos and stuff. Anyways, we're gonna make some dinner quick. Zane is on his way home. I don't know what he wants to eat, but I'm gonna have like a cheeseburger salad. I made it the other night and it was so freaking good. We have all the groceries for it, so we're gonna use the fresh stuff. Um, I'm just gonna meal prep all of the ground beef. Zane can make like a quesadilla or a burrito or tacos or salad, whatever he wants to make. Uh, I'm just gonna meal prep it all. I'm using my giant pan instead of my always pan because it's just bigger and we have a lot of meat here to cook up. And I'm gonna use the leftovers. I love having it with like eggs in the morning and it's just easy to have for like quick stuff, lunches and whatever. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut up the lettuce and we're gonna salad spin it so that it's all prepped in the fridge, ready to go, easily accessible. I will eat it if it is already chopped up and washed. <laughs> Thank you. 
finished product, you guys. We got the ground beef, avocado, mayo, ketchup, some fresh mozzarella, some tomatoes, some red onion, some pickles, and I seasoned uh, arugula and romaine. And I think that's it. That's my uh, little cheeseburger salad. It's delicious. Last time I did not do avocado or romaine, but I'm sure it'll be just as good. Oh, and I did shredded uh, Monterey Jack instead of fresh moths, but yum. I just made Zane's, you guys, and his looks so much better because he got a fresh avocado and Roma tomatoes, and I used like cherry tomatoes and like an old half of an avocado, so his looks like so much prettier than mine. Attempt to give it a little mixeroo. I need to get like big salad bowls. We definitely have big bowls. It's just like, I want like two matching salad bowls. You know what I mean? Is that crazy of me? I don't think so. Especially if we're eating salads a lot now, we're definitely gonna eat them more in the summer too. So like, that'd be so, I need to find that. Yesterday, Zane and I watched How I Met Your Father. We loved How I Met Your Mother. It was one of our favorite shows to watch together. So we were really excited to watch How I Met Your Father. Very, very cute, just a feel good show. And obviously Hilary Duff is just like iconic from our childhood, so loved it. There was only two episodes out, so we watched those, and now we have nothing to watch right now. So Zane's gonna watch his, um, the Australian US Open is on, and I'm gonna watch it on YouTube. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? You said Australian US Open? <laughs> <laughs> you said the Australian Open. <laughs> <laughs> you said I said, I said the Australian US Open. I was confident on that too. I know. It's definitely just the Australian Open. We go to the US Open. So, if you know me, you know I'm not a fan of coffee. And I just, I don't know, in this cold weather, I see people drinking it. It seems so soothing, a nice cup in the morning, nice and warm. And for me, I'm like, that can be hot chocolate. Like, why not? Who's stopping me, right? So I went to the grocery store yesterday and I found these little reduced calorie packs. Zane and I had one yesterday and they are absolutely delicious. It is so easy and it serves that like warm drink craving. And who doesn't love hot chocolate? Like, it's so good. I'm gonna make myself a mug of hot chocolate and cure the FOMO of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> We have heated up our water. We've got eight ounces. It's only like halfway full because this is a giant mug, but it's eight ounces. We want it to be nice and chocolatey so we don't, we don't want to use too much water. You can use milk too, obviously. But yesterday Zane made it for me just like this and it was delicious. I heated it up for a minute and a half, put our little cocoa mix in there. Oh my God, I had it in bed last night. It was so comforting. Give it a little mix, put some marshmallows, and there you have it. See the good. Yum, I'm so excited. Got the little Yule log going. We put the heat on. Got my hot chocolate. It's so good. I might be nuts for this. I think I'm in way over my head and it's gonna be really difficult, but I'm kind of good at building things. I got my desk. That's gonna go right here where this wannabe desk is. And it's already late. It is nine o'clock. But if I can finish by 11, maybe 11.30, like it shouldn't take me more than two and a half hours to build a desk, right? I mean, it does have little drawers and stuff. It might be a little bit difficult, but hopefully it's in big enough pieces that I can do it quickly. I just really want to use it. I'm just excited. I don't want to wait until tomorrow and I'm vlogging. So we're going to share it with you guys. So I got it from Target. It's literally just simple white. It just matches like, you know, our uh, entertainment center and our coffee table. I would have picked something else if we lived somewhere different, but I don't want to buy new furniture until we move. So I just picked something that would match everything that we have just simple white. I also am considering getting a desktop for editing. I think it'd be really nice to have a desktop in here. So this one kind of has like a split level so you can put like a monitor up high and then have like your keyboard and stuff. And then there's a little bit of storage in it which is perfect because I want to store like my hard drives and my chargers and I want to put like a little hook on the side of it to fit my laptop bag. Like I just want a space for all of my like, you know, computer goodies. There is space in the office, but I share that with Zane and it's kind of like occupied by our podcast stuff and it would just be nice to have a space out here instead of cooped up in the office. There's a lot of reasons why I want it. I just think it'll be good and I've had this like wannabe set up here and I've been using it so I know that I'll use it. Let's just hope that I like the way that the desk looks and it's not too big and bulky. Otherwise I would stink, we'd have to take it all apart and return it. So fingers crossed, let's build this thing while we sip on our hot chocolate. You get off! Oh my god! Ah! 
Guys. Why? Babe. What? What the heck? They love boxes, man. Isn't it supposed to give you an estimate for assembly time? Not really. Well, I am a handy woman, and I can figure this out quickly. And I'm gonna put on a podcast to help the time go quicker. Eleven fifteen. Done. Hey. And only yeah. like one or two tiny mess ups that I fixed quickly. It also doesn't sound very smooth. But I think I could just tighten the screws under there. I think that's what's hitting. It's a little better. It's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. There you have it. DIY dad would be proud. <laughs> Got it all done. We don't need no man. Oh, oh, maybe we do. Wait, this was just going in and out, so fine. I think that's as far as it's supposed to go out. I think that's why. She, she's a little rusty, this part, but that's okay. I think I'll probably change this handle. I wanna see if I have extra ones from the kitchen and we'll change it to a black handle. It'll match that and it'll look, you know, a little fancier. Let me check if I have that really quick. I found one in our tools and I actually just remembered that I spray painted them black. I didn't buy them black. So this is an extra and it's actually too small for the holes on here anyway. I just did a super quick little tidy up of all the styrofoam and cardboard. I'm going to move this out of the way, vacuum, and then move it in its place. This is nice. Yeah? You think? This is cute for you. I'm happy you got a desk. I know. Me too. Now I gotta order a desktop. Yeah, is that the next step? I think so. I need a chair too, yeah. a, a comfy chair. Yeah, I need a comfy chair. Yeah. Did you look into that one that you saw on TikTok? The kneeling one? Yeah. Not that much. It's Does it? It's $150. Does it turn into a regular chair? Or no, it's chair? only a kneeling. I know. Like, what if I don't want to kneel? Oh. Uh, I mean, you could always use the podcast chair. Right, that's true. You do always like kneeling. No. I love kneeling. <laughs> I think I would like it. You guys are not going to like this, but I'm going to vacuum. So run now. Ready spaghetti? That should fit. Oh yeah. Cute. <laughs> it's good for what I need it for. Looks great. I know you mentioned painting the handle too. Yeah. Painted that black, I think it fit yeah. perfectly. Yeah. You don't also, even have to. Our furniture is like, just give it a little bit. Our furniture is like yellowed, just from being old. Yeah, that too. Like this is like fresh, fresh white, and then this is like yellowed. Or maybe this is more of a cool tone and that's a warm toned white, whatever. Apartment living, it's fine. I'm planning on putting some like baskets in there probably to make it look cute, like maybe some like brown baskets, like wicker or something. I'm gonna keep all of my like daily stuff in here. Oh, it's gonna be nice to have a space for everything. And then my laptop bag, I'm gonna put like a hook on the side here so I can keep my laptop bag there and there you have it guys here is the final result she needs some decor and you know sprucing up but this is it for now i just threw a little candle and i have this little um what are these called sand timer is that what these are called a sand timer why am i blinking also it's not even working correctly because it's supposed to be 30 minutes and i turned it over a long time ago it's not filtering through <laughs> there's also a crack in it which i believe that i did the day that i bought it so that's temporary <laughs> and then in here i just put like all my chargers and stuff i just ordered i did a target pickup for a few things that we needed and then i also got an extension cord down there so i can like plug in a few things and then down here i'm gonna get bigger baskets that like fill the space but i just have like my mini printer and my um polaroid that I still need to set up. So all my camera stuff, I'm even thinking maybe I can set up my mini printer like, you know, permanently so that I'll use it more um, when I get the extension cord, like right under that little raised thing 
maybe. And then I just put my laptop bag here for now, but again, I just want to get a little hook and I will hang it on the side. I probably just use a command hook, honestly. And on this little pullout thing, I just put my little like lap desk thing that I use if I want to sit on the couch and work so that I just have it accessible for now. We'll see if I get a computer and put a keyboard. And you, you're gonna drive me nuts with this, huh? Also, this is exciting, a new little spot to vlog. Hey, and I have my lights right in my drawer. Love that. We're gonna start heading to bed now, so I'm gonna end this vlog here. This was a lot to unpack, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm so tired. <laughs> oh, here's how my makeup wore. We've got some creasing under the eyes, and I'm looking like I have a little bit of a mustache. <laughs> I don't know why it's so dark above my lip. Maybe because I put the liquid contour. My lipstick is obviously off, but I feel like it wore pretty well. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Okay, we're better. Jewelry is on. Okay, we're better. Jewelry is on. Bench? Where are you? Good morning. Hello. What's on my thing? I'll try to go through it at a red. What? First things first, I'm going to fix up. Hello? There we go. The next thing that she does is put rosehip carrier oil. Don't know how much I'm gonna need. Little boobs. So I have this glow drops. This glow drops. And I will say, if this does, hello rude. Ah! I covered the mug with our like shield and their red sauce on it from what we made. <laughs> okay. <sighs> but right now, there was only two episodes left. Out. Sorry. I'm so hungry.